It is easier than ever to create full performance capture with body, hands, and face using the Rococo Motion Capture Suite. Our iPhone face capture solution paired with the Rococo SmartSuit Pro and Smart Gloves allows you to quickly record super expressive motion capture. In this video, we're going to get full performance capture set up, record some mocap, and retarget it in Blender. And then we'll also stream some mocap live into Unreal Engine. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get our full performance capture set up. So I'm already in my smart suit and smart gloves. Um, my smart gloves aren't plugged in, so I'll plug them both in. I've got the cables running down my sleeves and they're connected to a battery pack that is zipped up in the back of my suit. So no dangling cables, I'm fully wireless and these guys should pop on in a moment. I've already paired my uh, smart suit and smart gloves with my computer, so all I need to do now that they're all powered on is simply drag them all into the same actor profile. I'll do that, and now my gloves are connected to my body. Everything looks a bit funky, though, because we still need to do a calibration pose. So I'll click straight pose, and I will do a calibration pose. There we go. We're ready to uh, to get going here. So that's my body and gloves, but what about my face capture? Um, so for our face capture solution, you currently need an iPhone 10 or higher. We are currently working on an Android solution that'll be coming out soon. You can download our face capture app from the App Store for free. It's called Rococo Remote. And as long as the iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as the computer, as soon as I open up that app, you'll see a little dot appear up here next to our Rococo remote. So we'll click that, hit connect. A prompt will come up on our screen here. We'll accept that. And then as soon as we toggle face capture down here, we'll get a little face that appears in our scene. There we go. And we can click this little button down here if we want to see um, our actual you know, face in the, in the, um, in the app. Um, so now in order to get this uh, face paired with our character, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to drag it into our actor profile. And there we go. We have full performance capture, face, uh, body, and gloves all working together. And it takes about, you know, a couple minutes to set up. And uh, it works. You can get some really expressive mocap out of this system. So let's record something quickly and then we will send that out to Blender to retarget it to a character. So I can actually hit record on my phone right here. Hi everyone, we're making some awesome mocap. Yeah! Wink. Okay. Stop the recording. And now we will just send that out to Blender. So let's take a peek at that. Mocap looks fantastic, it's super expressive, and we can retarget this to a character pretty easily using our free Blender plugin. And uh, we'll do that right now. So first thing we'll do is just export our take. We want to do an FBX, we don't want a body mesh. When you're using Blender for retargeting, you always want to use a binary format. And for Skeleton, we're going to leave this in Rococo Newton. And we'll hit Export and then hop over to Blender. OK, so here I am in Blender, and I have this rigged character that also has the standard Apple AR kit 52 blend shapes applied to it. To retarget facial mocap, you'll need to have a character with these blend shapes. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos on facial mocap and where to find models with these blend shapes. Now I'll import my mocap. Always make sure to click automatic bone orientation when importing mocap into Blender. To retarget the body and hands mocap, I can just use the Rococo Blender plugin. Open up the plugin retargeting panel and select the mocap as the source and our character as the target. Then hit build bone list. 
You may have to manually select the bones the first time you use your model, especially if it's non-standard, but then you can hit save and it will automatically generate from then on. Hit retarget animation. And now you have your hand and body mocap retargeted to your character. So the last step here again is the face capture. I'll import the face capture that I exported from Rococo Studio. I'll open up the animation panel and now it's just a matter of copying the keyframes from my Rococo face motion capture mesh onto the mesh of my character. You can find more in-depth tutorials on this process on our YouTube channel, but really we just wanted to show you how easy and quick it can be to get your full performance capture onto a character in a free program like Blender. So here we were retargeting recorded motion capture onto a character, but you can also live stream full performance capture out of Rococo Studio to a variety of programs, including Unreal, Maya, Blender, Unity, iClone, Houdini, Cinema 4D, and Motion Builder. I'll navigate to our live stream area of Rococo Studio, and I'll turn on the plugin for Unreal. Now I can live stream directly from Rococo Studio into Unreal, and you can use this for previs or for virtual production. There's a million different uses for this workflow. The blueprint for our character is only a few nodes, and you can check out our full tutorial for live streaming to Unreal for more info on this process. And that is how easy it is to get full performance capture set up in Rococo Studio and into your 3D program. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at support at rococo.com. You can also always book a live demo with a team member to walk through any of our products at rococo.com. Thanks so much and check out our YouTube channel for more in-depth tutorials on these processes. Have fun creating mocap out there.